Hi everyone, in this video, I will be showing you how to add comic art and text effect in Canva. Now all you have to do is to click or select a color here, for example, this one, color black. For text, we can select add heading, type the word comic here, drag. After that, we're going to change the color of this word. So all you have to do is to drag this word here, find a color, for example, color yellow. So let's change this color to color yellow. It's easy as that. The next thing to do is to change the font. So kind of change it into this word here. This one, click this one. And then drag and adjust. Now go to elements. Search for gradient. And then once you see it, click. Look for a design or something like this. Drag it over here. Okay, adjust and then you can duplicate the color something like that now go to flip and select vertical so this is what it looks like now you can save your project and then proceed to the next way or next step so after saving this one you can open or create the design again upload the one you created earlier and drag it right here adjust then go to background remover and make sure you deleted the background now after deleting the background go to shadows and then when you click this one you can adjust the brightness uh, saturation contrast blur anything here do anything until you get satisfied with your project now once done all you have to do is to download this again and proceed to the next step okay so once done you need to open or create a new design again so here create a new design again a presentation change the color from white into something like blue or like this one and then after that click uploads and then upload files and select the previous project now drag this photo into the blank page something like that Okay, and then go to background remover and the result should be like this. Now, all you have to do is to click edit image, go to shadows, click glow. So this is what it looks like after clicking glow. Now you can also adjust blur, transparency, and the size of the darkness. Now, now once you adjust here, like you can just drag it up and down. And then after that, once you're finished with this, you can go back to shadows again and then this is the outcome now you can just do your own way uh, this tutorial is just the best that i can thank you so much for watching and see you again in our next video tutorials